Hi, it's Stella from Eagle University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for On Mars from Eagle Griffin Games. The first settlers arrived on Mars, and private companies are competing and working together to create self-sustaining colony. The game plays one to four players with mechanics such as tile placement, resource management, and order fulfillment. The game is of heavy complexity. In on Mars, players compete to get the most points by completing various actions back and forth between space station and Mars by actioning the action space specific to each of the two areas. On the player's turn, they do action on the area they are in. Then next player do an action and so on. At the end of the round, or every second or third round, player has option to ride the shuttle to move to the other area of the board, or just to stay till the shuttle comes back. Points mainly are coming from tactiles, fulfilling contracts, the number of buildings you build, building ships and buildings, and having scientists with appropriate buildings. Players with the most points wins. Timing is usually important for things like scoring in-game points. Players can do things like build buildings for resources or extra workers, upgrade buildings for production income, and hiring scientists for quite powerful additional action and end-of-game scoring. I feel like the game encourages you to create well-balanced actions. Bonus is rewarded for going back and forth between the two areas often and diversify in building buildings. We played a lot of Vita Reseda's games and this one felt smooth and most of the actions are thematic. The steps in the actions, although still plenty, are not as many as some of his other games. As usual, a lot is happening on the common board and your player board and you can chain your actions together to be efficient. Game is icon heavy and the components are out of this world, get it? I mean, double layered boards, wooden tokens, thick tiles, game trays, and the eye-pleasing art by Ian O'Toole. The game has a lot of prisoner's dilemma mechanics, with some actions that lets you use opponent's tactiles or upgraded building cards, which benefits both you and the owner. After all, you need somewhat work together too to make Mars habitable. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Meeple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.